Hello, so today we're going to be talking about question 21 on the fall 2021 exam one. So this is a question that's been giving people a lot of trouble. And one of, one of the reasons for it is because it asks you to put an array into a max heap order. And it asks you to do that using a bottom up approach. And the first thing that we need to remember about max heap and min heap orders is that there's two different main approaches for it. There is the bottom up approach. And there's also the top down approach. Now, these two different approaches may seem at a first glance to be very similar, but they're actually very different in the way that they work. Bottom up is a method where we know what the entire array is that we want to sort into heap, or into heap order beforehand. And the way that we sort it is going to be O of n time, where n is the size of the array. Top down, on the other hand, is going to take O of n log n time. And there's a very specific reason for that. And we're going to go through both of these. The reason we're going to go through both of these is because several of the answers that I've seen that people give on this question are using the top down approach and not the bottom up. And if you use top down approach, you will get a different final array than if you use the bottom up approach. So we're going to go through both. So first, first I'll go through the, the, the bottom up approach because that's the one this question is talking about. And so if I get to the end of the bottom up approach and you're like, okay, that's all I wanted to see. I just wanted to see how to finish this problem. You can end the video there. But if you also want to see the top down approach, keep watching at that point. So the array that we have given is five, one, two, zero, nine, seven, eight. So in a bottom up approach, the way that we do it is that we imagine that this array is already in a heap and we're essentially just trying to correct it. So we, we imagine that we've got five as our top node and then we've got one and two. And remember, the reason that we, we have it in this order is that we treat the um, each of the elements in the array with two to the n, I guess we could call it two to the i. Um, size as the different levels. So we're going to treat five as the top level, one and two as the second level, and then zero, nine, seven, and eight as the third level. So our current setup of this binary tree that we're trying to turn into a true heap is five, one, two, zero, nine, seven, eight. This is our starting position. So the first thing that we want to do when we're looking at the bottom up approach is that we want to completely ignore the bottom row. The bottom up approach has a start from the first node that has children. Or sorry, the, the, the last node that has children. So we're, we're, we're looking at the right side of the second to last tier. So we want to look at this too, and we want to look at the two different children that it has. We're, we're trying to sift it down. We're trying to find the max heap order, and so we want to say, is two greater than, sorry, is this two, is two greater than seven, and is this two greater than eight? Because of the fact that we see that the two is less than both seven and it's less than eight, we want to move the higher of the two up to where the two is. So we're going to take the eight, and we're going to put it into the two spot. Remember, because the, the whole, whole idea of this max heap is that we're trying to Sift all of the nodes into a position where the each node is greater than both of its children. So we've now got this eight and we're going to leave it in place. So the, the, the whole idea is that we are we are sifting down each of these nodes. So we're going to go on to our next one. So we, we've just crossed off the two and we're going to the next one, which is our one. Now we're going to look at the one and we're going to say, is the one greater than zero? And is the one greater than nine? The one is greater than zero, but it's not greater than nine. And so the one and the nine need to switch places. And so we've dealt with the one now, the one position. And now we're going to go to the last position, which is our five. And so the five, we compare to the nine and we compare to the eight like we did before. We say, is five greater than nine and is five greater than eight? Nine, five is, greater, is less than both of these numbers. And so similarly to how we did the two, we take the bigger of the two numbers because we're trying to get a max heap order here. So we take the 9 and we switch it with the 5. And now 
what we have to do again, because we're shifting down, we now need to look at the 5 and we compare it to the 0 and the 1. And we say, is the 5 greater than 0 and is it greater than 1? Yes? Okay, that means it's in the right position. And now, because of the fact that we've dealt with the, uh, the, the root node, we have now completely finished our bottom-up approach. And so we can confirm that by looking at this heap order, and we can confirm that 9 is greater than 5 and 8, 5 is greater than 0 and 1, 8 is greater than 7 and 2, and that tells us that we have the heap order right here. And so we can just convert this back into the array, and we see we get five, uh, sorry, 9, 5, 8, 0, 1, 7, 2 as our order. We look at the question options, we see that 9, 5, 8, 0, 1, 7, 2 is option E. So that was all the bottom-up approach. And if a computer was doing this instead of us, it would be an O of N time to complete this. It would be O of the N, N where N is the nine elements that we have here. However, what many people that do this problem do wrong is that they try to do this same problem, but with top-down order. And we, we, we with the top-down approach. And so I'm going to show you the top-down approach here that many people do when they're doing this problem incorrectly. If the problem asks you to put a, uh, an array into max heap order using the top-down approach, this is what you would use, but this, this is not what this particular problem is asking for. The top-down approach is where we essentially insert each of these values into the heap as if the heap didn't exist before. So we, we, we start with a situation where there is an empty heap, there is nothing in it. And we first take the five and we insert the 5. And now our heap only consists of the 5. Then we insert the 1. And we, we, we do, it, if you remember, heap insertion, we always insert it at the last position in the heap. So it, we would be inserting it here. And then we sift it up. We say, is 1 less than 5? Yes. So it's a good, it, that's the right position. Then we insert the 2. We insert the 2 in the next open position, which is right here. We say is 2 less than 5? Yes. So it's in the right position. We insert the 0. And the next open position is 0 less than 1? Yes. So it's in the right position. We insert the 9. We say is 9 less than... Sorry, is 1 less than 9? No, it's not. So our 9 and our 1 need to swap. And then we again ask, is 9 less than 5? No, it is not. And so 9 and 5 need to swap. So we see we're, we're back in the heap order. We continue with the array, and we insert 7. Is 7 less than 2? No, so 7 needs to swap with 2. And then lastly, we have 8. And we ask, is 8 less than 7? It is not. Sorry, I, I, I completely skipped a step. We, we should have asked if 7 was less than 9. And because it is, we don't have to swap 7 and 9. Sorry. Now, after we insert the 8, we ask, is 8 less than 7? And it is not. And so we swap the 7 and the 8. Now, using this top-down approach, we have achieved heap order. This is a completely valid heap, just like the other heap that we made was. Both of them are totally valid heaps. They are both in the structure where each node is greater than its two children. However, as you can see, this heap is not the same heap as what we had before. I believe what we had before in the bottom-up approach is we had um, eight. Oh, it's a messed up eight. Eight. And then the eight to children were seven and two in that order. Whereas now, using the top down approach, we have two and seven. As I said, both of these heaps are completely correct. However, you get different heaps by using different methods. Another thing to note is because of the fact that this is a top down approach, we're, if we were to run it on the computer, it would give us O of n log n time. And so, top down approach actually takes more time than bottom up approach does.